The second um, approach towards uh, repair of femoral hernias that we'll be looking at is what is known as a lutensin transinguinal approach surgery for femoral hernia repair. Okay, so um, if you look at this image, there's actually what so many things, and the only one we have discussed is the MAC evidence high approach, which is made what above the inguinal ligament. Okay. So um, the next one we're looking at what the lutensin. And how do they describe it? Trans inguinal, all right? So it is going along the inguinal ligament. That's what they call trans. Transport. You are going along the road. Do you understand? All right. So trans inguinal. This is incised along the inguinal ligament and all this stuff. Okay. So in this uh, procedure, you see it here. Position is just there. Okay, uh, we'll be looking at the definition, we're looking at the steps as procedures. Okay, looking at the advantages, looking at the indications. Indications is like, okay, the conditions where you can use this. Okay, then um, that's all, right? So, pretty, 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 let's go. Definition right now. Lutensin is what? Transinguinal approach. It's a surgical technique for femoral hernia repair. And it's named after what Dr. Lutensen. All right, probably him and some group of surgeons discovered this. Or probably him and some group of people, all right. But probably he was the one who brought the idea and all the stuff. Okay. So it is actually a modified approach that combines the element of traditional inguinal repair with femoral hyenal repair. Okay. So what are the key steps? Incision. A standard inguinal hernia incision is made, but it extends slightly more laterally. You understand? So you are incising it as if you want to repair an inguinal hernia, okay? But your target is actually this femoral hernia. Do you understand? That's why they say you are combining inguinal hernia repair with femoral hernia repair, okay? Dissection now. The inguinal canal is open and the femoral sac is identified, right? Reduction. The hyenal sac is reduced and the femoral canal is explored, right? Repair. A mesh or suture repair is performed, incorporating the femoral canal and the inguinal floor, all right? Closure. The incision is closed in layers, right? Note that what a mesh or suture repair was done, okay? And this mesh or suture repair is usually what non-absorbable, so that it is there forever, trying to hold back that area. Talking about the advantages, it allows for direct access to femoral canal. It enables repair of both inguinal and femoral hernia simultaneously. So it can be indicated in people who have concomitant what inguinal and femoral hernia. So you have inguinal hernia and femoral hernia together, so they can just do this incision to repair the both. Okay. It also reduces the risk of missing a concomitant inguinal hernia. So it could be that the patient has an inguinal hernia, so you don't want to miss it out. Or it could be that you don't know, so you just do this so that you don't miss out anything again. All right? So it's uh, this one now. I'll say this incision is along the creases that are usually at the point. Okay? So there will be faster recovery. There will be faster healing. Because you cut the skin along its line okay so what are these its imp uh, indications you can use this for treating primary femoral hernias you can use it for treating recurring femoral hernias you can use it for treating what concomitants with inguinal and femoral hernia that's people that have inguinal hernia and femoral hernia all together all right so you can see this you see this in incision just along the creases all right i'm actually emphasizing on this faster recovery thing okay so uh, we said that this incision is made superior and parallel to the inguinal ligament, right? So it's along it, but it's superior. The inguinal ligament is down here, so this incision is superior, okay? Um, it actually extends from the pubic tubercle to the mid-inguinal point, right? So guys, as it about what uh, the low tensing transinguinal approach surgery for femoral hyena repair.